Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome looking town hall. I've been getting loads of requests to make some more real world buildings recently, stuff that fit into a city, and I've also been getting loads of requests to make a town hall. So, I've chewed up both of those ideas, I've spat them out, and here we have this awesome looking town hall. Hall. I hope that you guys enjoy this. It's a more modern build, but you could easily swap out some of these materials, maybe throw in some hardened clay in there, maybe even some bricks, and you could have it look a little bit more old-fashioned, maybe even attach a clock to the under part of the overhang if you wanted to make it look a little bit more old-fashioned I've also done the inside for you guys just a little bit I've kind of laid it out how I would do this so I would like to use this town hall as kind of like a government office building so we have loads of offices we have some hallways we have a help desk but if you wanted to lay it out in such a way that it's a big giant meeting place for the entire town then you could do that but I figure it's kind of like a, an office building for basically government employees and of course course, the mayor, which should be in her office, shall we say? Hello, Mayor Cinnamon. Hello, how are you doing? Let me just sit at your chair. Yeah, you stand on the desk. Hello, I know that you're very busy, but do you have anything to tell the people? You, you decree what? You can't make that a law. That isn't even possible. I think that's against the law to do that. Okay, well, I'm just I'm just going to leave you in here, and I'm just going to leave you to your crazy ideas. That's that's I'm just going to back away slowly. Well, I'm just going to completely forget that that even happened, and ask you guys if you wouldn't mind, please do like the video if you do enjoy it. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, say hello down there in the comment section. I'll say hello back, or most of the time I will. I try my best. There's a lot of you guys out there, and. Please also do click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. But without any further ado, let me show you how to make this awesome town hall. It is not that difficult. Not that difficult. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some pillar quartz blocks, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some cyan hardened clay, some black stained glass paint, some stemmeric stairs, some stemmeric slabs, and some black stained glass block. Now, we might need some other materials if I've forgotten some and if we decide to change anything, but for now, these should do. So if you grab everything that we have here and if you want to make this town hall in a specific place I can tell you that the measurements for the town hall across the front this will take up 33 blocks so coming across the front it will take up roughly about 33 blocks there might be a little bit of overhangage not included in there but roughly that and we also have about 29 blocks coming towards the back so bearing all of that in mind guys that's about how much space the town hall will take up so if you want to if you feel compelled to make this rectangular shape on the floor in your world and if you start on this front bottom left hand corner of the rectangle and if you move in from the front left hand corner if you move in by four to the back one two three four and you begin your build here then you'll be making it in roughly the same position that i am so start off the build by placing two block of quartz on top of each other one two then go right that second block by two one two connect down to the ground then take that second block and extend it backwards by two, one, two. Connect it down to the ground. Take that second block, extend it across to where you first started by two, one, two. Connect it down to the ground and then connect back to the front. So you're looking for a shape which should seem like this. Very, very simple shape indeed. Well, what we want to do from here, guys, is... We want to take each one of the four corners of this shape that we have here, and we want to take out our pillar quartz block, and we want to do rows of six pillar quartz block on top of each one of these four corner blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and we want to do the same with all of the other corners. Now, we don't have to count out the other corners, though, because once we're sure that we have a row of six, that's all fine, like that. Then, fill the center of this in with cyan hardened clay. So, run a row of cyan hardened clay all the way up the center like this. Also, feel free, this is a cool bit of added detail. If you place upside down stone brick stairs um, in front of the bottom, uh, like in between the bottom set of quartz blocks, like where the space is, if you place an upside down stone brick stairs, I can't seem to place it properly in that last one, then you'll get a pretty decent effect like that. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Well, once you've got that sorted out, what you now want to do is come down to the bottom right hand center of the pillar. So, bottom, front, right hand center, right here, yeah? From this block coming right of that stair, you want to do this sequence of blocks. You want to do one block of quartz, then do two upside down stomach stairs, one, two, then a block of quartz, then two upside down stairs, 
block of quartz, two upside down stairs. Then you want to do a block of quartz. And then, here's the distinction. You want to do, use cyan, hard, and clay for this. You want to do seven cyan, hard, and clay going right. So you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then place a block of quartz. Then do two upside down stomach stairs. One, two, block of quartz. Two upside down stairs. Block of quartz. Two upside down stairs. Block of quartz. Then, we want to go to the right and we want to place an additional block of quartz, yeah? But we want to go up on top of it by one. Then we want to extend it forwards by one. Extend it down to the ground. Take that second block or the first block that you just extended down to the ground and go right of it by two. One, two. Hit to the ground. Take that second block that you connected to ground, go back from it by two. One, two. Go down to the ground, and then move across, back to the right, so like back where you first started, from that second block that you just connected down to the ground, extend it back by two, and then connect it down to the ground. So, what we've made there essentially is the base of another pillar, and we want to do the same thing to this base pillar that we did to the pillar over there. So, we'll take out our pillar quartz block, we'll take each one of the four corners of the pillar and we'll extend it up each by six with the pillar quartz block that's one two three four five six and one two three four five six and then so on and so forth with all of the other four corners we then want to do a center row of cyan hard and clay coming up from the base we then want to place upside down stomach stairs in each one of the available slots. Now, two of those will actually be covered by the rest of the building, but we want to have something which should look like this, which is a nice balanced front to our town hall. So, this is what we have, and I think that what we're going to do now is we are going to build up the front of the town hall, yeah? We'll build up the front of the town hall a little bit, and then we'll move on to the rest of the build. So, what we want to do is we want to do this. On top, of every quartz block that we placed here at the base, we want to throw an additional quartz block on top. So, take every single quartz block that is involved with the base of the front of the town hall, add an additional quartz block on top. On top of the stomach stairs, add a layer of hardened clay. You can even add an additional layer of hardened clay on top of the center hardened clay if you like, although that is probably going to change in a little bit. What we now want to do is on top of the blocks of quartz now, we want to add a rows of six pillar quartz block on top of the block of quartz. So that'll look like one, two, three, four, five, six, and it'll make them as high as the rows of the, uh, the pillars that we have around us. So once you've got one row of six, yeah? Or even if you don't want to count out any of the rows of six, you can just match them up with the pillars and everything will come out fine. Well, just do rows of pillar quartz block on top of those blocks of quartz like this. Now, in between the pairs of pillars, we now want to place this. We want to, coming up on top of the cyan hard and clay, we want to do two layers of glass pane. So one layer and then two layers, yeah? And then we want to do a row of upside down quartz stairs. Then we want to do two layers of paint, one and then two, and then a layer of upside down quartz stairs, like that. We want to do this in between every single one of the pairs of pillars. So that'll actually take a little while to do, but that's what we want to do. So we're just going to add in all of these. Uh, it's not that painful, it's not too bad, but it is just a little bit tricky for me because uh, the pain is, is, is just such a pain. So that is what you want to do on the front left hand side, and we want to do an equal thing on the front right hand side. So once again, we just want to, on top of the cyan hardening clay, stack two layers of pain, and then a layer of stairs, two layers of pain, a layer of upside down stairs. Remember that the stairs are upside down, although to be honest, I mean, it might not make that much of a difference if the stairs were facing the other way. Actually, they would otherwise I probably would have I probably would have placed them the other way if uh, if it didn't make a difference I probably would have placed them like that but I do actually like them as uh, as they come upwards like this there's there's a certain flow that they have with the slabs but that is what you want to have on the front of your building like that yeah let me show you what you want to do next so now what you want to do is you want to connect the left hand side and the right hand side of the front of your building together we'll do that with a layer of pillar quartz block like this, yeah? So we wanna do that with a layer of pillar quartz block, like that, very simple. We also have to create an entrance. So where we have, basically, 
on top of this row of cyan hardened clay that we have right here, yeah? This center block is where the entrance is going to be. So left and right of this, place a block of quartz. And on top of that block of quartz, place an additional block of quartz. Then, coming across the entire top of the entrance to a row of upside down quartz stairs like this. Then, above this, do two rows of cyan hardened clay, like this. So, you want to have something which should look like that. And now all we have to do is we just have to fill in left and right of the entrance using uh, either black stained glass paint or glass block. Uh, the fact that we use stairs and paint together is, is kind of gives like a cool effect. Whereas if you use glass block, like it will bulge out a little bit from the upside down stairs. But it's completely up to you whichever you use. Now, once you've got that sorted out, this is what we're going to do next. So... We want to take these top two corners of the entrance, so basically the top two blocks here that we connected together with pillar quartz block. We want to extend these blocks outwards by a, a random number really, like it depends how big you want the overhang to be. So let's say three. So use your pillar quartz block, extend out these two corners by three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Like that. Connect them down to the ground, like this. So that's one, and then this should be the second one. Yeah, that's perfecto. Well, now that we have that, we now want to take the rows of three pillar quartz block, and we want to throw an additional pillar quartz on top of them. So uh, make any blocks that may have faced a weird way, make them face the right way, and extend the pillar quartz blocks upwards like this. Place upside down quartz stairs facing inwards in front of the additional pokey up pillar quartz blocks that you just placed to give you this effect. We now want to connect them together using quartz slabs in the middle like that. Now behind this row of slabs place a layer of cyan hardened clay like that. So you just want to place a layer of cyan hardened clay like this. And on the outsides of the quartz stairs, the upside down quartz stairs, place regular quartz stairs, regular facing like facing outwards like this. So you want to have this effect, yeah? Then, you want to build a layer of stairs that comes upwards towards the top, yeah, like, like, regular, like regular roof would. So, gradually coming up and meeting in the middle, we want to have a nice roof which acts as a, an overhang for our actual building. So, you guys will see how this is pieced in together now. Um, it's just like regular roof. Let me destroy all of the blocks that I don't need since I've just used a load of stairs to do it, but we want to have something which should look exactly... <laughs> exactly... I couldn't have used the more awkward block. Exactly like this, like pointing up like a triangle like that. It's wonderful. So, once you've got that sorted out, what we now want to do is we want to place upside down quartz stairs underneath the layer of stairs that comes all the way up to the top. So place a layer of upside down quartz stairs underneath those regular stairs coming all the way up to the top. And throw something like a block of quartz underneath the pillar quartz slab at the top. So here you go. That's what you want to have. And once you've got that sorted out, what we now want to do is just behind the shape that we have. In the empty space, we want to make it so that in the empty space from the outside, it looks as though that we have cyan hardened clay. So we want to have this. That looks great. Something else that we want to do is we want to add additional pillars in line where the entrance is. So like where we have the two quartz blocks of the entrance, we want to, in line with those, we want to have two pillars that connect up to the overhang in such a fashion as this. So they want to connect up like that, just so that we have a little added something. They don't even have to be where the entrance is. If you like, you can have the entrance on display uh, like this and you can move them just one block outwards or you can just not have them whatsoever Completely up to you and like I said you might consider adding a clock just here instead a clock might look quite cool actually but yeah that is the front mostly done and also the way that we would access our lovely little town hall is that we would have to walk up to it so this is where you would enter the town hall yeah well we want to be able to walk up to it so um i'm going to use stone bricks um for this because we need to use the same block as the stair that we're going to use so I'm just going to fill in two rows in front of the entrance with uh, stone slabs and I'll make it, or stone brick slabs, like this, and then I want to be able to have stairs that come up 
to this. So I want to place a layer of stairs here in between the pillars like this and I also want them to come down like this as well. So I want to be able to walk up in between the pillars like this and I also want to be able to just decorate the area a little bit maybe with some like quartz block on the left and quartz block on the right like this and we could even maybe even extend this outwards by an additional row like maybe we could have it so that the stairs pop out another row like this so we'll place a layer of stairs in front of here and then in front of here there we go so it melds in a little bit better and then we can have the same quartz block coming out so we want to be able to walk up and actually access our town hall like that and just to fill in the sides a little bit i'm just going to place a little bit of block of quartz here on the left connecting things together and um just next to the entrance way like that so it just looks a little bit nicer and if you do want to uh put a door on the entrance i i might not bother but a dark oak wood door would look quite good it looks quite good with all of the other materials but there we go guys that is what the front of your town hall looks like now i know that that looks probably well i mean that looks very nice um maybe that was a little bit complicated but once you've got that sort sorted out the rest of the build is quite easy quite easy indeed so once you've got that sorted out guys you now want to move to the left hand side of your build so on the very literally the left hand side of your build you want to be looking over at that blank of a side you want to take the bottom center part of the back of the left hand pillar this front left one and you want to coming out of the back of this upside down stone brick set you want to do a block of quartz followed by two upside down stone bricks there block of quartz Two stone bricks there, two upside down stone bricks there. Block of quartz. Five upside down stone bricks there. That is one, two, three, four, five. Then a block of quartz. Two stone bricks. Block of quartz. Two stair. Block of quartz. Like that. However, you now want to take this last block of quartz. You want to extend it back by one. On top by one. You want to then extend it outwards in both directions by one. Connect those blocks down to the ground. You want to take those two blocks that you connected down to the ground and extend them out of the back each by two. One, two. One, two. Connect them together. Connect them down to the ground to give you this shape. We then want to take each one of the four corner blocks here and we want to do rows of six pillar quartz block on top of each one of the four corners. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys know what I'm doing here. We've done this uh, two more times already. This will make the third time. And then we want to do the sign of and clay all the way up the center, right? And then we want to do upside down stomach stairs. Um, thank you. We want to do upside down stomach stairs um, in the base of them, like that. Now, not only do we want to do that pattern on that side, including the pillar, but if we come to the opposite side, we want to do the exact same thing. So if we come to this opposite side, uh, we want to come out of the back of this stone brick stair, and we want to place a block of quartz, two upside down stair, block of quartz, two stair, block of quartz, five stair, one, two, three, four, five, block of quartz, two stair, block of quartz, two stair, oh, come on, two stair, block of quartz, then another block of quartz, extend it up, left, right take the top back corners extend them backwards by two one two one two connect them together to the ground then take each one of the four corners of this shape extend them up with your pillar quartz block each by six one two three uh, four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six we don't have to count it out all that time or that many times then we just have to do the sign hard and clay coming all the way up the center like that and then we want to do the oh my god the upside down stomach stir in uh in the two following the two empty parts like that so we just want to have something which should look like that yeah now, once you've got that sorted out, what we're now going to do is I think that we're going to fill in those sides. So, uh, now that we have both of these sides, yeah, we'll fill them in. I think it's just easier. So, let's take the left-hand side first, because why not? Both are going to be the same. So, take this left-hand side, yep, and on top of every single quartz block, actually, on top of this entire side, on top of this entire side you can do this, yeah? Do an entire row of block of quartz, connecting the front to the back, like that easy what you now want to do is on top of the blocks on top of the blocks of quartz that have 
block of quartz underneath them do rows of six pillar quartz block coming upwards. So this one, for instance, one, two, three, four, five, six, and do the same for every single other block of quartz that has a pillar quartz block underneath it. So, I mean, the ones that don't have the pillar quartz block, the ones that have these stairs instead, no go. The ones that have the actual block of quartz underneath them, and I'll show you that now, you want to extend up like that easy what we now want to do is this so in between all of these rows of pillar quartz block we want to stack two rows of cyan hardened clay that's coming from the front all the way to the back whatever vice versa we want to do two rows of cyan hardened clay so whichever way you start is what i was talking about then we want to do an upside down row of quartz stairs on top of the cyan hardened clay the two layers of it like that then we want to stack two additional layers of cyan hardened clay on top of this like this so that's going to be two rows give it a second takes a while and then do upside down quartz stairs on top of the cyan hardened clay so we want to end up with something that should look like this however we're not done so where we have this big beefy bit in the middle, yeah? Where we have this row of five cyan hardened clay and stuff. Take the two rows of pillar quartz block on the left and right and extend them outwards coming out the side of the building and you want to reinforce them with an additional layer of pillar quartz block. So just to show you representationally, we want to have something that should look like this, yeah? Looks quite good. We've added a layer of depth to the building. However, take out the quartz slabs and do a layer of quartz slabs in front of the like the second row at the bottom so like here like where we have the layer of quartz block that we connect to the front to the back together do like a layer of quartz slab coming from the front to the back and also do it in the same line that you have the first row of upside down quartz stairs so what you'll end up with yeah is something that looks like that it looks quite nice like that if i do say so myself i i quite like the effect you can even if you like also add it just up at the top here as well like where you have the second layer of the quartz so you'll end up with a very cool effect that looks like this you've added a nice layer of depth you've added a lot of definition that is it takes no time whatsoever to add so once you've done that to this side do the same thing to the opposite side it's very simple guys so if we come to the opposite side here yeah we want to first of all add a layer of block of quartz onto the foundation like this then, every single block of quartz that we just placed, that has a block of quartz underneath it, add a row of six pillar quartz block that makes them as high as the pillars that you have um, both on the front of the building and at the back of the building. They should be right next to you by the time you finish that first row of block of quartz, like this. So, raise up all of the ones that have block of quartz underneath them. Then, you want to begin by doing a very simple pattern on top of the foundation that you've just laid. That is, two layers of cyan hard and clay, followed by upside down quartz stairs. Repeat that once more after you've done that. That's, that's kind of bad. Repeat that what? Oh my God. Repeat that once more after you've done that the once. That, that was terrible. And then uh, you should be fine. Then we can add the further definition to the sides of the book. Something that I should have added, by the way, something that um, I should have said vocally. If you want more windows in this building, in general, uh, add more windows. However, the thing is, by the way, that's what it looks like once we have added some more, once we've added the entire pattern, then we're going to extend the two center pair of pillar quartz blocks. We're going to extend them outwards like this. Then we're going to connect them together at the base using quartz slab that is in the upper half of the quartz down at the base. Then we want to follow the lines of the upside down quartz stair to further place more detail in our build. So we're just going to connect the top together going from front to back to give us this. However, I, I got a bit sidetracked. If you want to have windows, I would suggest windows in the center of the building. So like this. The reason that I would suggest more windows only here is because on the front and on the back, we have a lot of windows. If you turn these rooms into offices, then if you have a lot of windows about the place, it makes it difficult to place like furniture and stuff. Like you're very, very, you're very limited as to where you can place stuff if you have loads and loads and loads of windows. If that doesn't bother you, then, you know, place windows all over the place. If that does bother you, have more like this. 
Once you've got that all sorted out, guys, we can now move on to the back of this build. So if we come to the back of this building, we, we want to begin by, let's, let's start on the back left-hand side. We want to take this middle block here, which should have an upside-down stone brick stair in it. We want to go right at the stair, and we want to do a block of quartz going right. Then two upside-down stone brick stair, one block of quartz, two upside-down stone brick stair, one block of quartz, two upside-down stairs, one block of quartz. Then seven upside-down stone brick stairs. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a block of quartz. Then two upside down stair. Block of quartz. Two stair. One quartz. Two stair. One quartz. There we go. So we want to have something which should look like that. Once you've done that, you want to place a layer of block of quartz on the entirety of what you've just made. So add a layer onto the entirety of what you've just made. Or take a second or two. Like that. Then, and this is very similar to the sides, on top of every single block of quartz that you've just placed that has a block of quartz underneath it, do a layer of, uh, do a row of six pillar quartz block that makes it as high as the pillar quartz that you have surrounding you. So on top of every block of quartz that has a block of quartz underneath it, do that. We've just done literally the exact same thing on the opposite side, so I shan't imagine that you guys will run into trouble with that. I don't even know if these rows are big enough. I'm actually kind of just um, eyeing it. So yeah, that's quite, that. Meh. look at me. Look at me guessing lengths. So that is what we want to have. Right. Once you've got that sorted out, this is what we want to do next. So first, we're going to connect these two center pairs together that have a large amount of space in between them. To do this, we're going to begin at the bottom, and we're going to place two layers of cyan hardened clay at the bottom coming upwards. That's one layer, and two layers on top of each other. Followed by a layer of upside down quartz stairs. Do two layers of cyan hardened clay. One, and two. Followed by a layer of upside down quartz stairs like this. So that's what you want to do for the center. Now on top of the blocks of quartz that you have, all of the others, in between the layers, in between the two pairs of uh, pillar quartz blocks everywhere, do two layers of glass, so that's two layers of glass, then follow it up by doing a layer of upside down quartz stairs, and then two layers of glass, one layer of upside down quartz stairs. So essentially, we're doing what we did on the front, except we don't have an entrance on the back. It doesn't really make sense to me to have an entrance at the back of a town hall. I, uh, I don't know. The, the fewer points of entry to me seem to, be, uh, seem to be a little bit better. But you could definitely add some side doors or, or something if you wanted. Like, the sides of the building are completely open for interpretation for what you want to do. As is a lot of this build. Like, a lot of this build would look great. If you just like skin swap some of the blocks, like if you just completely color swap this, you could you can still make this thing look amazing. But there we go. You want to have this on the back. Very simple. It's what we've done on the sides. Then what we want to do is we want to take these two pairs of pillar quartz block that we have right in the back center, and we want to do a layer of pillar quartz block in front of the uh, in front of the rows of pillar quartz. So we want to take the two pairs and we want to extend them out of the back by one row like this so it, it just creates a little bit of a level of depth i'm not going to do the same thing that i did on the sides though with all the quartz slab because i kind of like the back and the front being different from the sides it's just a thing i have now what do we want to do so on top of the pillar quartz blocks that you just extended out add an additional pillar quartz block so add one on top like this then place in front of the pillar quartz blocks place a quartz stairs actually place an upside down quartz stairs because i'm an idiot and uh, the upside down quartz stairs want to be facing inwards why can't i figure this out there we go like this then place regular quartz stairs on the outer parts of the upside down quartz stairs like this what we now want to basically do, yeah, is we want to connect the front of the build to the back of the build. So, what if we do this, if we come to the front of the build and we extend the rows of quartz stairs, if we extend them backwards, completely backwards, I just whacked my microphone, I apologize. If we extend them backwards, they would connect in the same point on the back as they do the front. So, we basically want to create the same triangular shape that we did on the front on the back. That's all we want to do, and it's easier for us if we just extend from the front 
and work backwards. It's honestly quite a bit easier than to create our weird little quartz triangle and it also saves us having to figure out exactly like how big and what shape this triangle has to be and it, it's just easier if we just take the quartz stairs at the front of the overhang we extend them backwards. It's so much simpler, guys. You, you, what what else do I have to tell you? It's easier for you. It's easier for me. It's easier for Cinnamon. Cinnamon doesn't even have to do anything, but it's still easier for her. You guys get the idea. So, I'm just going to extend all of these backwards. Very tedious task, as is the next part, by the way. If you thought that all of the uh, boring stuff was done making this, you were wrong. You were completely wrong, because there's a roof. My favorite. Always. Love the roofs. Not... Not even a little bit. I really do hate those roofs with a passion. They're so big. Every single one of them. That's the only problem with doing big builds. They have big, boring roofs. At least with small builds, you can usually like get away with making like a cool roof. But with this, not not so much. Not so much. Just a big, boring, mostly flat roof. You guys will see that. I'm extending the slab backwards, by the way. This one that comes uh, top, up, center, coming back. Extending this all the way back to like that. That looks good. Okay, step two. What do we do? We've got to make it look... Well, first of all, I'll tell you what. We'll do upside down quartz stairs underneath the overhanging portion of the overhang at the back. So we'll do upside down quartz stairs like that. Yeah, and even one right up top and center like that. We now want to give the illusion that we have cyan hardened clay here. So we're just going to... Uh, feed into that illusion by actually placing it here so like this and we want to make it look as though that it's completely cyan hard and clay on the inside which it almost is so we want to have uh, i don't know what happened there so we want to have something which should look like that uh, we can make this look less ugly by adding in a row of quartz slab at the bottom here if we want to add in a row of quartz slab makes it look just a tad less ugly Still quite ugly though. Add some glass if that hurts your eyes. So once you've got that sorted out, all we have to do is we just have to do the roof, which is a couple of a components. So basically, we want to take out our quartz slab and half a row above the like the entire of the building, we want to add a layer of quartz slab. So just to show you what I kind of mean with this. So we we basically half a row above the build going all the way around the build in like a big giant rectangle like a big huge rectangle we want to add a layer of quartz slabs that will connect eventually to the back of the build like that it will connect to the roof quite nicely oh I, I i planned that oh yeah that was me yeah of course it was anyway i, I don't know what i'm talking about I'm a little delirious from this illness, honestly. But basically, we want to take all of these quartz slabs and we want to form a big giant rectangular shape. That, I'll show you in a second. It'll be quite easy uh, to see what we're doing, especially from the sky. So what we basically want to do is we want to orbit the entire top of this building and we want to add a layer of quartz slabs, half a row above, goes all the way around it. Easy. Then all we have to do is fill it in with quartz slab itself. So we then just have to painstakingly, I might add, very, 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 very. There's not really enough varies in the universe to describe how very painstaking this is. This takes a while to fill in with quartz slab. So once we've, once we've done this, this will be the structure of the building complete. And then I'm going to leave things in your very capable hands incredibly capable trust me you know what you're doing with the inside of this build uh you you can kind of just go crazy and do what you want so uh, in my head and i don't know why i didn't build this in my head i th i thought about like if you've ever seen the simpsons when i think of a town hall i imagine everybody getting together in a big giant hall hence the town hall Big giant hall, everybody's shouting at the mayor who is kind of like on a pedestal up in front of everybody. I imagine Homer Simpson shouting at Mayor Quimby with a big giant army behind him. That is what I imagine the town hall to be. In reality, I'm sure it's very little like that and I'm sure that it's more like a like government office with actual officers in it that people would actually do work in. That's what I imagine happens. If they actually show up to work, which I'm not convinced they do. They're government workers after all. But 
That, that's what I imagine. So, you can build it in one of two ways. You can, if you want, like I said, you can add additional materials to this thing. I had, I thought to myself whilst I was building it, and I don't, I, I, get, I don't know how it actually turned out this way. Uh, I, I did have in mind a hardened clay, quartz, like stone, brick, blend. It just ended up being cyan, hardened clay, and quartz slab. I don't know how that even happened. But that's how it was originally going to be. I was going to have hardened clay in there too. I was going to drop the cyan, hardened clay, just regular hardened clay. And I was going to keep all of the other materials the same. I think it would look quite good like that. Uh, I think that that would look quite nice. So it wouldn't take you too much to just reskin it if you wanted to. Use your own materials. It would look fine and dandy. And, um... I would also recommend, if you do want it to look, if, if you want to take it back in time just a little bit, you'll see the pun here in a second, if you want to take it back in time, just add a clock to the front and the center of your town hall. So, where we have this huge building, which looks awesome, if you imagine that it was hardened clay in some places, and if you imagine a clock, like here, top, front, and center, it'd look pretty cool. Up to you, whether you want that or not, up to you but this is the town hall guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial that's all i have to show you if you want inspiration for the actual town hall that i built at the front of the video just skip back to the front of the video it you guys can make it better than i can you'll 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 make it how you want to make it like that's how i imagine you doing it if you want to add any more detail to it I would highly suggest that. Feel free to send me some pictures on Twitter if you deviate from this video. Uh, if you did enjoy the tutorial, please do remember to smack that like button. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, there's so many, there's so many ifs in here. If you subscribe, please do click the little bell next to the subscription button and say hello down there in the comment section. Also, suggest what you want to see next. You guys have been asking for town halls, hotels and stuff. I'm actually working on both of those. I've already completed the town hall, as you might have guessed. So... Let me know down there in the comment section. If you want to check out any more of my content that includes other stuff, as you might be able to see around this world, uh, please do check out the card system and the description below. That'd make me very happy. So if you wanted to, for instance, make some more city builds, check out my city builds playlist, and that'll show you how to make apartment buildings, which looks eerily similar to the town hall. Um, with, and it'll also show you how to make like skyscrapers. That's a very easy repeatable skyscraper. Uh, it'll show you how to make trampoline warehouses. That sort of stuff. Normal stuff. That's all in the City Builds playlist, including the Futurama headquarters. Uh, if you want to make anything that would fit into a public park and so much more, there's there's, there's so much more in here than just what, what, what will fit in a public park. Trust me, there's... The, the, well, you can, you can see it. If you want to make anything that fit into a public park, including my golden play button over there, you might have saw it very briefly, uh, check out the Park Builds playlist. If you want to make houses in general, if you just want to make wooden houses, for instance, modern houses, as you, as you can see, scattered around. If you want to make suburban houses, wooden, modern, survival, mansions, we have everything around here. As you can see, we have a whole host, a whole plethora of houses that you guys could make. Delve into the playlist. You'll enjoy yourselves, probably, maybe. We even have theme houses. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to go and rest. I've been ill this entire video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.